What is the most NSFW thing you have seen someone openly do in a public place? NSFW. I guess it's literally not safe for work. But. One time I was in a movie theater. And these people to my upper left kept talking and being obnoxious scumbags. I generally have less and less patience for this over the years. As ticket prices keep going on. So I turned around and said your conversation is cool and all but I'm trying to watch a f movie. Thanks guys. So the guy in the group responds hey man. F you and laughs. And then we both hear it. A very loud click click and I see a guy like 8 seats to my left casually holding a gun in his lap. Looks back towards them. Flashes it once. In their air and goes you should really shut the f*** up before this becomes an issue he looks at me. And he nods like I got this. There were only about 10 of us in the theater. None of us said anything for the rest of the film and I never made eye contact with him again. He seemed to be on my side but, yeah, looks straight ahead for the next 1.5 hours. I also never went back to that theater. And luckily so. Less than two months later there was in fact a shooting there. My friend was on a London bus coming home from work when he saw two tramps on a park bench. One openly sodomizing the other, consensual one presumes, in plain view on a sunny afternoon. Obviously hobosexuals. Wow. Thanks for the gold. I was a lifeguard at a hotel with an indoor pool. A lady was standing in her room, looking out the window down at the pool, finger blasting herself. Very non-discreet. Also, caught a guy beating it in the hot tub. Fun place was in downtown LA, saw two homeless people f***ed on the side of the road. It's around 2 in the afternoon. The man seems to be enjoying it. The chick was just staring at a tree. She was thinking about the twisted road of life choices that led to her being railroaded by a bum in LA. I saw a girl with a pussy eating booth set up in a bar. She was hunkered down under the bar. A girl would sit on his stool in front of her. And she'd go to town. She managed three rounds before she was asked to leave. That's the kind of entrepreneurial spirit that built this nation. I used to work at a local convenience store. And one time during a night shift a customer asked to use our toilet. Which I had to tell him no. We're not allowed to let the customers use the personal's toilet. He literally unzipped his pants and peed on the floor in protest. That store doesn't sound very convenient. A girl finger blasting another girl on a dance floor at a gay club. Among other things. Some interesting shit goes down at gay clubs. My city only had one gay club it's shut down now. Neighbors didn't like the noise and it was also in a pretty homophobic area and dear lord I have seen some shit. It was a pretty seedy place at times but there was all kinds of girl on girl action and guys dropping to their knees for each other. I miss that place. My wife and I went to Bonnaroo a couple of years ago. And we saw a girl walking around in a bikini top. With her face. Mouth and chest covered in cum. She was just casually walking around, holding hands with this guy, talking to people, and covered in splooge. I know about there being a fetish kink for this, but it was a little offsetting to see in person. Did she have a lot of tattoos? I might know her lol. I'm almost positive she did, but I can't recall 100% probably because everyone was fixated on the jizz. I do remember her having dark brown hair with blonde highlights, a septum piercing, and was wearing a backwards mesh hat. Old, presumably homeless dude masturbating while staring me down on the subway in New York. Thankfully it was my last night there. A homeless dude sitting under a blanket asked me if I wanted to watch him kill his children. I was so dumbfounded and had began to respond when moaned and leaned back, pulled off the blanket and ejaculated. I then understood what he had meant. Homeless people in NY like having an audience. I once came into a crowded bar at around 5 a.m. There was a chick with a skirt on the bar stool and a guy was banging her from behind. They didn't try to hide it. It was completely obvious. Well yes. It was around 5 a.m. and a crowed bar. It's one of the only two bars Afike in the city with opening hours that long. Okay people. After about 50 comments. Me coming into the bar I think we totally got that joke now. Like this. NSFW. Sweet baby G-Bus. You all want this link so badly. Here you go. Pervs. Just kidding. I had this saved under my alt account. I'm a perv too. 
there's that one guy in my city who walks around in public with his face painted like a clown and sucking on the largest pink dildo I've ever seen. We call him the dildo man. He especially enjoys doing this in means of public transportations or grocery stores. I didn't see it. But my brother told me a story after he came back from download a music festival in the UK. Lots of insane crap happens at these things. But apparently this one guy who was off his face on a concoction of various narcotics jumped into one of the big containers that the toilets sit over. If you don't know what I mean, it's like these things but higher up to accommodate a larger container. These containers hold everyone's rancid shit and piss. But worse because it's in a festival. The smell is enough to make you faint. But the guy refused to exit the literal shithole. He instead waded around in it proclaiming that he was the shit king. The poor, underpaid marshals were pleading for him to come out. But he wouldn't leave. Eventually the cops turned up and a couple of guys in hazmat suits or something had to wade in and wrestle him out while he screamed at the top of his lung and demanded to be returned to his realm. I was saw a man covered in shit masturbating under a blanket on a NYC subway. In retrospect he could have been playing Yahtzee though. Nah dude when someone plays Yahtzee you hear it. When I worked at an all-night restaurant, a woman who was a regular, who came in after her shift stripping gave a BJ in the parking lot, but not in the car. The guy was in the car, but she was kneeling by the driver's side door, making the act quite obvious. The guy had standards for inside his car of course. Lifeguarded at an indoor pool when I was in high school. Then at a busy, rather dangerous beach in terms of surf. Seen more sexual interactions of all ages than I care to mention. But one stands out. Some kids come running out of the pool locker room saying so and so is doing dirty stuff. They're like 10 years old. I'm male. And it's in the male locker room. But I ask both co-workers, adults to come with me. Lo and behold, we find two boys laying on the floor in the shower, with a 10-year-old girl, pulling her swimmy aside and pissing on them. All the f*** over them. F water sports. At 10 years old, I don't even know what we did. Parents were called. Shower sanitized. We were all in just complete shock. Kids are bloody weird sometimes man. I've been to two gatherings of the juggalos. I have reformed. The amount of ugly people f in the middle of the road that I have seen is a bit ridiculous. I used to deliver construction materials with a small crew. One time we're on the highway and our driver points out this girl masturbating in her car while driving. Not too public considering you probably couldn't see into her car unless you were in a big truck. But there she was in broad daylight and 8am traffic. Right foot on the pedals. Left leg stretched with her foot up on the dash. Skirt up and going full DJ giggles on her clit. The crew and I got pretty rowdy once we realized what was happening. She looked over at us, smiled, and just kept going. Zero f given. I saw a guy masturbating while riding a bicycle. A friend and I were about 14 Y. Oh, we were aimlessly exploring the countryside, riding on our bikes along the river on a sunny day. Then suddenly an elderly person came in the opposite direction and we saw he was doing something in his crotch area. While we came closer we saw he was wearing very short, but wide shorts and was flicking his penis around. He was doing it from far away, probably even before we came in view and just continued while passing us. When we looked back it seemed he was still doing it. So I don't think he had us in mind. And no, we are not mentally scarred because of this. It was just a weird guy on a bike playing with his penis. We thought it was rather funny, although I prefer not to have seen it. Some say he's still cycling around the country, masturbating to the long hum of the road. All we know is, he's called the Stig. I witnessed a drunk teenager take a shit in a urinal and then piss in the sink. Didn't even wash his hands afterwards can't really blame him, with the pattern he'd set for doing stuff in the wrong places. If he'd wanted to wash his hands he'd have had to use the toilet bowl. Saw a bunch of naked men with a sextal on a boat, while we were riding an aqueduct in Gold Coast, Queensland, Ouse with my wife and a busload of people. No f were given to us. They just waved and offered beers. It would have been an Australian if the did not offer beers. Two people having sex in some hot springs, with dozens of people around them, and I'm not talking casual underwater sex, 
They were above the water and loving it. Afterwards they moved pools and came to sit with us like nothing happened. This happened last week at a party I was at. A guy who had a bad stomach due to medication needed to take a dump but all of the toilets were busy so he pulled down his trousers and proceeded to shit all down a radiator. It wasn't a solid shit either it looked like something had exploded on it and to make it worse the radiator was on so it only exacerbated the smell. It looked like someone had emptied the radiator on itself. Why the f radiator? He premeditated that shit for maximum after effect. I kind of caused this one but here goes. I'm an EMT and was called to the local chain supermarket for a patient having a seizure. My partner and I arrive on scene and see a mentally challenged kid rolling and flopping on the ground yelling I'm having a seizure. I thought this was the funniest thing ever because the kid was definitely not having a seizure. I'm trying to hold my composure at the sight of this while my relatively new partner at the time is trying to process what the hell is going on. Meanwhile, the mother is frantically yelling at us saying do something. Help my son. He's having a seizure. I firmly told the mother that her son wasn't having a seizure. She wasn't having any bit of it and was convinced that he was, in fact, having a seizure. I was having an off day or something and I lost my patience with the lady and I to her that her son wasn't having a seizure until he pissed and shit himself. Big mistake saying that out loud. The kid overheard me and just let go of all bowl movements and proceeded to roll and do the magic art flop in his waist commitment to the role once while in boston on a trip for college some friends and i got horribly lost in chinatown around 9 pm at night this was when very few people had smartphones with gps as we were trying to navigate out we were walking by a storefront that just had a huge mound of black garbage bags and other trash in front as we get closer we see that the bags are rustling around Finally, we get close enough to see what's causing all the commotion. It was a middle-aged Asian man rolling around in the trash and masturbating. I saw a woman shit in a water fountain. A drinking fountain or like middle of the city. Giant f masterpiece fountain. Like a giant f masterpiece fountain in the middle of the city. Make that two masterpieces. Masterfeces.